So today I'm going to use the S24 to show you some tricks that you need to know on your Samsung Galaxy phone. These are the five tricks that you need to know and make your phone much easier to use. And maybe some of them you might not even use them or you don't even know them, okay? So now let's get started. What are the five features that you need to know on your Samsung Galaxy phone? So let's just say we turn on Samsung Galaxy internet okay not chrome but samsung galaxy internet and now you're searching for hotels let's just say i'm going for a trip i'm looking for flight tickets i'm looking for hotels and things like that and now you can see the these are the um, the price right here now i'm going to go on the side use the old way to take a screenshot just like that okay and now you can see the screenshot and now let's just say um i'm going to go in here and I'm gonna take a look where this like $10,000 hotel is, right? And then I was like, you know what? This may do it. I want to go for $10,000 hotel. Now I'm gonna take a screenshot as well too, okay? Screenshot. Now let's just say a couple hours later, you go back to your gallery, you want to see your screenshot, right? Okay, so let's just go back to your gallery. And then now we're gonna go for those two screenshots right down there, okay? Maybe three. Did you know Samsung Galaxy phone at the bottom here, it shows go to a website. I'm gonna go right there. You can see go to a website. They actually know which website you actually take a screenshot from. And then when you press this, it will direct you back to the website. Okay, just like that. So you just need to go to the gallery. You don't even need to take the whole page screenshot. You just need to take a screenshot like that. And then at the bottom, right, the you know, gallery, they will say, go to a website. So when you press this, now it will go directly to the website. This is feature number one. So feature number two is, let's just say this is the website that we were just looking at, right? And it's quite long, right? The page is quite long. And then you actually want to take a screenshot, you know, this, 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 right? However, if you take a screenshot right now, it doesn't really do anything. Did you know when you take a screenshot, at the bottom there, there's a button right there. You press this, it will scroll for you. You press this, it will scroll for you. So you just need to keep pressing until whenever you feel you want to stop. And now your screenshot will end up like this. And plus there's this, this thing called go to website. So you can actually look at this, you know, you zoom in and look at the price, right? At the same time, you can go to a website. So you go back to the original website and then that's it. This is actually feature number two. So I'm gonna show you something pretty cool. So this is Chrome and I'm gonna use Chrome. And then you must log in the same account as this one right here. So in order to log in the same account, you make sure that you want to look at the bottom and the setting and then see if you actually go into the same account as this. Let's just say right now I'm using a MacBook and I want to actually send a website to here. But this one doesn't have what well, doesn't have any quick share and things like that because it's MacBook and this is Samsung, right? Did you know that let's just say I'm going to send this website and then you go to three dot and then you press share. And then right at the share, you can see send to device right at the here. When you press that, the Chrome, the Chrome will know that which one, which device actually lock in the same account. When you press that, at the top right here, it will show you, you want to continue or not. And remember, this is a MacBook. This is actually Apple, this is Samsung. If you're talking about ecosystem, they actually will do the same thing. When you press that, and now you can see it will end up right here without doing anything. Make sure that you go into the lock in the same account and same account. You can actually do this like same as you know Apple with the same ecosystem. Pretty cool, hey? This is number three. Now we are right now we are going for the 3D effect on the iPhone. But however, this is a Samsung, Samsung phone and I'm going to show you it. We do have that for a pretty long time, maybe like two years already. So let's just say if you have something like this, you just need to just go up. Sometimes it works with like majority of the picture, but not some of the pictures. However, you can see there's like this thing called live effects. When you press this, 
and then you just wait and then the AI will do a 3D style for you. You can see that, okay? And then once you know you like this, you can actually save the copy, you can share, you can set it as wallpaper, things like that. So they will make it as in a 3D effect. But however, if you look at this right now, it doesn't really show that much. It's moving around. But if you have like a person in the middle and then you press live effect, it actually looks pretty, pretty cool. Very similar to the iPhone, the 3D effects. Okay, this is gonna be super, super, super important. I'm gonna show you to you right now. Not a lot of people know about this and I'm gonna show you right now. It's my job to tell you this is real, okay? So let's just say if you have any PDF file. So we're gonna go to the document and then we're gonna go for any PDF file. Did you know you don't have to download anything? No third party, nothing like that. You're just gonna go straight to Samsung Note. They're gonna ask you like this. You just go to straight to Samsung Note. Did you know Samsung Note is already built inside the Samsung phone? And you can use it to edit your uh, PDF, let's just say signatures and things like that. And you can actually start signing. You can type, you can do whatever you want. And when you finish, you press save. Once you press save, you can share as in PDF file back to the email, whatever you want. You don't have to do any uh, third-party apps. You don't have to download any, like, you, know, you don't have to pay subscriptions. Everything on the Samsung Note is actually free. You can, if you have an S Pen, you can sign with your S Pen, or you can just directly do it on here, and that's it. Very simple and easy. So make sure that, like, let's just say there's a bracket right there, let's just say, okay? And now I press a pencil, you hold it, and then they will ask you, text box. Sure, so I'm gonna type something. Well, let's just say, if you press that, and now you can see you can move this around, and then you can actually shrink it, whatever you want, okay? And then you can zoom in, and then you can just drag. You can make it smaller if you want, okay? Make it smaller. I like that. Make it smaller, better, okay? And then basically you just adjust anything and then that's it, okay? And that's how you fill up your PDF file by using typing or writing if you want. If you want to write, you can write, okay? You can sign whatever you want and then that's it. Press save and then press share, save as file, okay? Press share and then you say PDF file and then now you can send an email. You can see already PDF. And then you can send on email, whatever you want. Please subscribe to my channel, share this video, and I hope there's five features that you need to know on your Samsung Galaxy phone. And stay tuned for your next video. Thank you very much, and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Peace out.